Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright Python series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn about the Playwright code gen. So let's begin. Code gen basically is a feature of the Playwright which comes with the ability to generate the test. Now this is a gateway to quickly start with the testing because at least you will be having a linear escape. Now when you will use this feature, it will open the two windows, a browser window where you will be interacting with the website you wish to test. And then we will be having a Playwright Inspector window where you can record your test, copy the test, create your test as well. You can change the language of your test. Now, in order to use this one, you should be using or you will be using the command called code gen. Okay. So in order to use this one, simply you need to go to the terminal and what you need to do is that you need to type Playwright space code gen and then the website the url of the website which you want to test so simply let's uh let me copy this one the playwright website and paste it over here and press enter now it will open a code gen it will have the two windows so one is the inspector you see that this is inspected and this is a browser where we'll be interacting with the web application okay so simply what we need to do is that for example i need to test if this get started button is working fine or not just click on this one okay then just go to installing playwright okay and just go to setup ci okay i'm just performing the action so as soon as i'm performing the action you will see that here in the code gen it actually generating a code now here we have a different options for example, you are struggling with the locator, for example. So simply if you click on this one, and now if you want a locator of this particular element, maybe this button, maybe this link. So simply if you go here and you want a locator of this one, just click on this one, you will get the locator over here. Okay, in this particular area, the locator one. And we have also the other options like a side. For example, you want a session a session means that we we want to verify something in our script as well okay so click on this one and if we want to verify that okay this one okay so as soon as i click on this thing here you will see the assertion you see this is expect right so we will be learning about the assertions in detail in our upcoming tutorials right now just understand how this code gen works and here uh, we have this particular button which is assert text so if you want to assert some text over here so this particular text you want to assert just click on this one and you see that assert that the element contains this text okay and just press on the tick button so again you will see that this particular command will be here right now okay and then uh, we have this assert value if you want to assert a value in a similar way okay let me click on this one and if you want to assert particular value you can do it now then we have this assert snapshot just click on this one and if you want to assert this one so you can simply do this so here if you go and you see that we have log and area so here you see that the link is basically html report and here we will be getting the locators and here we are getting those assertions over here now if i move this over here and here you will see that again we have pretty much same options like uh, pick locator we have again this assert visibility and then assert text assert value then we have assert snapshot then if you want to copy this one you can simply copy this one if you want to change the color to the dark mode you can do it then if you want to change the library to so simply go here if you need a code for the pie test so just convert into the pytest because we are using python so here we will be using python pytest uh, plugin so we need to convert into this pytest so, so that we can have the pytest code for this one and if you're using um, maybe uh, java you want a junit code so simply click on the junit and if you want some json or some, some other like js node.js code right so this is the node.js code basically okay and now uh, you can simply copy from here you can clear the code from here and you can restart you can 
record from uh, where you left so you can perform all these options from here so for example we go to this by test and um, I need this particular code I just copy this one from here and simply if, if you want to close this one just close this one and here what I lose that I simply go to my test folder and go to new go to new method file and I will say test underscore code gen and I just paste this code which I just got from the code gen okay so what happens is that you have at least a, this is a linear scale everything is written inside this particular test right but in actual when we are working with the automation so we will be working on the frameworks we will be following the page object model design pattern so there are a lot of things where we will be actually you know changing our linear script to the pattern like page object model okay but the good thing is that at least you can start with the linear script you don't need to write each and everything you don't so basically it's, it's not about generating the code only it's help you with the locators right it, it can help you with you know asserts the verification of your application as well so you don't need to write these things from the scratch now here it says that uh, there's some problem with this click on install that's okay and then we need a page okay so once it will install you see that it's installing the package free right though we have started but somehow it's not picking up so no issue just click on this one so it will installing the playwright package for this one and once this will be installed automatically this page or expect will be resolved so and then simply what we need to do is that we need to run a word test so in our previous tutorial what we did is that we learned how we can run the playwright test when we are using the python okay so this is updating the things here so successfully Install the package for the playwright is updating the skeleton. So once it will be done, you will see that this error will be removed from here. Now you see that the error has been removed. You can simply go and run your test. So that's how you can quickly start with your uh, you know automating your application with the code gen. So at least you have an initial code, then obviously you can change, modify, convert into the page update model uh, design pattern and then you can continue. Writing from scratch obviously it will take time.